Good morning, it's Thursday, April 18th, about 6 a.m. Central Time. Over at the precious metals are bouncing after yesterday's broad-based liquidation. Both the S&P and the NASDAQ both closed at one of the lowest levels since February, as Fed officials have really pushed back and said that there's no rush here to cut rates anytime soon. Fed officials are citing that progress on inflation may have stalled, and today we'll see several more Fed officials come out and speak. So you're going to want to stay defensive on these markets if you feel like you're overweighted on anything. If we do get that bounce back off or that relief rally here, especially on the equity side, you want to lighten up a lot of those positions, in my opinion. So the equity resistance here on the S&P 500, 5,100, and above that, 5,120. That seems to be a hard line where we failed yesterday and made several other other attempts to run it over the last few days and have failed there. Your critical level of support is going to be your pivot point 5070 and below that 5030. Now looking at the precious metals overnight, they have corrected here from overbought territory and they're starting to roll over a bit. What I tend to see here is people liquidate a lot of their winning trades and they come in and they try and support their losers. So we'll see liquidation in gold and silver. They'll come out and they'll try and buy things like the NASDAQ and Bitcoin. It's just the nature of the beast. I've been doing this for 23 or four years now, and the reality is, is that I continue to see people rob Peter to pay Paul. They'll cut their winners and they'll support their losing trades. So looking at the gold market here today, I think really your pivot point's gonna be 50 or 23.95. We're just above there right now. We wanna see a close back over 2400 and we'll allow it to be, be able to chew at some of these higher levels here. I don't think that this bull market's done by any reason at all in the precious spend especially in the gold market silver becomes a bit more of a wild card but should have some tailwinds here today as the copper market has discounted the fact that some of the production in copper has rallied significantly Goldman Sachs came out reaffirmed their price targets or upside price targets on the copper market citing tightness and additional multi-year tightness coming in that market as a lot of things like the grid and everything else need to be upgraded now looking at some of the other precious metals platinum continues to take a pounding here dip below the 950 level and I look at that as kind of the line in the sand I believe that that sell off below there we saw a snapback with many other investors in the precious metals coming in and buying platinum as a unique opportunity to own for a potential run back up to a thousand your critical level of support on the gold market will be today's low which is 2375 and then the silver continues to defend $28 we've come close several times However, we see a pretty big snap back here, 2850, kind of your critical level of support, more acting like a pivot point, but it's going to take a close back over 29 in order to spark a move back up to 2990, where, where the bears will really try and defend that $30 zone again. But if we could break loose above there, I think $35 would be an easily attainable target as many of the YOLO type people, the hodlers and everyone else will come out of the woodwork and we'll start to get frothy again as people really try and buy. One of the more interesting charts here is the crude oil market, which is having a two day sell off here at the moment. The front month is getting liquidated the most and that's why I'd always avoided the front month and went to some of the farther out contracts like the December contract which trades at $78 here at the moment. You could even go farther out. There appears to be liquid uh, markets here out into 2025 if you want longer term positioning and then remember there is a 100 barrel contract which allows a lot of easy opportunities to get in here as far as your barrier to entry on margin requirements are quite low because of the fact that it's a 100 barrel contract. So call it 75 $500 worth of crude oil for every one of those $100 contracts going out to mid-2025. If you got any questions, futures option trading, give me a call, 312-858-7303. Remember, futures and option trading does involve risk loss. It may not be suitable to all investors. Good luck and good trading.